Uno momon monuto. Just a minuto, gal. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's what we're looking at today. Okay, so this is like, uh, looks like a new sort of, of uh, entry level Super Auto from Seiko. Yep, plastic casing, um, you know, not a lot of bells and whistles, although it does have a bypass doser up here. Cool. <laughs> but I'm also noticing one other big difference. This oh, little this lever. Here? Here? Okay, so what, what? <laughs> no, the lever. If you have the lever up like this, it's for a cup of coffee. Okay. If you have it down like this, it's going to make espresso, and we'll show you how that works. Cool. We'll talk about that. It's got three programmable buttons over here, and also you can watch. You can choose from five beans. Bypass, one bean, two bean, three bean, four bean. What did I say? Five. Mm -hmm. So, cleaning cycle. That's for your descaling. Steamer, hot water right out of here okay. and then your three espresso drinks okay but they're also saying that you can do a coffee orientation so what's the deal with that gail well how it was explained to me oh grinder and water tank up here might as well look at those two. Oh, the okay. usual and the grinder setting is right there still takes that wrench mm -hmm. there it is at least it appears to take the wrench there's a little lever here yeah okay that's a part of the casing that sits still water tank Right there. Nice. Just like the Expralia, same tank. Then, not that the machine is the Expralia. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, if you have it in the coffee lever position like that, how it was explained to me is it cuts down the pressure coming from the pump and it pulsates like a thermal block. Oh, it, okay. It is putting on a lot less pressure. Instead of the 15 bars of pressure, you get something like three, five, something like that. So, it's kicking. So, with espresso, it kicks up and then levels down to nine bar. Mm -hmm. This, it'll kick on and then level to three to five right. bars is what we think. Okay. Exactly. So cool. it's not giving you that same pressure, which gives you the creme and all that. You get a little bit of creme on the top, but not a lot. Okay. And then where's my dregs and all that stuff? Right in here. Brew group. Right there. Okay. Yep. And then the uh, brew unit is right here. So side access. And they give you all those lovely directions, see? Okay. Yep. No wheels, I noticed. No wheels. Okay. Nope. <laughs> so um, I drip tray with baffles so you don't wear it. Nice. That's a good thing. So are we gonna um, try? Let's experiment with the coffee setting. I want to do setting. a coffee, large coffee, medium coffee. Let's do a medium coffee. Thank you. And on five, I took it up to a strong cup of coffee. <laughs> So you gotta listen for the thumping. It's the little soldiers. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a thermal block from what I the, understand. Um, hmm? Hmm? The Wizard of Oz. Oh, uh -huh. oh. And I didn't change any of the program settings. It's factory settings. Oh, low. Somebody else is messing with it. Maybe they changed it. I can see it's hot. Mm -hmm. Significantly less crema than we usually will see on the. Yep. Well, maybe I need to get another cup to put under there after this fills all the way up. Huh? <laughs> I, um. You can stop it at any time. You can see the bar with the progress, and then you can stop it by hitting over here if you want. Okay. I'm going to let it go out. That's it. All right. That should be a cup of coffee. I wonder if we could put my twilight in there and make the perfect cup of coffee. <laughs> Gail's next machine. Whoa, a row that's, of that's a cup of coffee. Not bad. It's a little weaker than I would drink it, so I'd probably cut down on the amount of liquid. Mm-hmm. But it's good tasting. Yeah. What do you think? I guess, yeah, it is, it is more similar to, like, a drip. Let's do this. Do little dudes. Let's do this proper. This does not come up, go up and down, but it does pull out. Can, oh, so, so you can get a taller cup on it. Got there. it. It's really designed more for coffee, even the high-low. Yeah. Yeah, you can really see a difference. There's a lot more crema on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost programmed, too. 
Let Try me. that. Ooh, ow, ooh, dripped right on me. More like espresso. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very different. And you can now, Gail, like now you want. what I want you to do. Oh, you already poured that out. What would be cool is, to, is um, to do an Americano and compare that to their coffee. You know what I'm saying? Two shots with oh, some hot water. Oh, okay, let's do that. Okay, so that's just a uh, two ounces, and you're gonna add some hot water to that? Yep. One button, you can choose a steam or hot water. You see that? And yeah, other. and then you choose one yeah, on one, one side. One or the other. So we'll take it up, what? It was up in there, wasn't it? It was about right there. Let's step her up? Yeah. Are you sure now? I'm positive. Did you read the manual? Did it say that? Mm-hmm. I'm like you. I read the manual, Gail. <laughs> you know I can't read. It has pictures, Grammy. Oh, okay. You could follow along. This is weaker. Weaker than the coffee? Mm-hmm. It's not as strong. I think I like the coffee better. Yeah. Agree? Mm-hmm. You agree with me? I know. Let's mark this day down. Is that just a, is there, is there just a little tiny little air in, into coal? You know, I haven't looked. We'll have to look at it when we get done. I assume it so might, since it it's got some bubbles going down. Well, it might come up in here, too. There's a slip there. Oh, okay. See that? Ow! Hot. Gail. Hot, hot, hot. Man, you're just, you are, you're totally like. Well, look at my knuckles. <laughs> I You're really my... working hard for, for that uh, worker's comp. Yeah, right. I'm going to bury that. See what Yeah, that's where the air is going in. Ah, uh, the I little seam. Yep. Okay. I heard it stop. It's hot. It did a pretty fast job, actually, mm -hmm. considering it's a super automatic. And rinse it off after we're done. Okay. Let's get a shotgun. Yeah. You work it in at all? Yep. Velveteen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Look at your silky milky grandma. Silky milky. <laughs> More taps. Yeah. You know, we could always try that recommendation of Velton that if you just scoop off, off the top, yeah. everything's beautiful beneath it. Yep. That's the story of my life, gal. <laughs> scoop <laughs> off the top and everything's beautiful. Beautiful, beneath. exactly. Oh, okay. Is that called exfoliate? Exactly. <laughs> Lufa. Uh, I can, and you know, I don't want too much milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's the temp on the milk? Not too bad. Because it definitely expanded fairly quickly. It did. Um, I, I would say there's hotter out there. Yeah. So you might want to um, submerge the seam a little sooner if you could. Right. Exactly. So Not get as much bubbles. Yeah. So. All right. It it's a new, new uh, coffee slash espresso machine. So this is cool for the households where I hate espresso. You know? I love espresso. I hate coffee. Yeah. This is the good combo machine. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. And Minuto. Just wait a minuto, Gail. Yeah, okay. Right. Thank what, you. You speak English? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs>